Okay, this is be beginner um, Temple OS video number two. Video number two for beginners. Okay, so uh, let's look at the command line a little bit. Um, now, you probably want to, uh, well, you want to learn Control M, and then you can um, go to the icons. But if you, uh, if you want to move files around and stuff like that, then hit F1 and go to command line help. And uh, this tells you, uh, this will get you started. So uh, the syntax is C, C++. So um, if you don't know that, basically that means uh, um, you, uh, you, the commands are C functions and they are terminated with a semicolon. And uh, if you look at the, uh, you want to look at the header. You want to look at where the source code is for the command. So uh, control F1, that'll bring up, um, that'll bring this back up in, in case you closed it. And then um, if we, if we want to look at the DIR command, um, it has two arguments. Uh, a mask and a, um, a boolean boolean is true or false a mask is a, a string is what the, what it's called and you put it in you put it in uh, double quotes so uh, let's go to the command line I'm gonna hit shift escape that's what we learned last time shift escape now dir now if I say uh, tos star that means all the files that means that's the mask and it lists all the files that begin with TOS. Now if I say DIR TOS star comma true, remember the second parameter was, then we get date, time, size. Here it's, uh, it's here it includes year, but it also includes a cluster. You probably don't need to worry about that. Anyway, so uh, so the, the idea is if you uh, if you want to do if you want to copy a file, then go look at the parameters, the arguments, the source file, the destination, the source file mask, destination mask. Okay, so um, remember they go in quotes. So uh, we can say TOS star. Now I'm going to copy over to the B drive. If you remember DOS, you know what this is. But uh, if you don't know DOS. Um, Let's see what this does. So I'm going to copy all the, from the current directory, which is uh, what we just listed right here, which is home. Home is listed down here. You see it says home to the B drive. What's the B drive? Well, oh, I didn't like that. Oh, you don't do the star. I'm sorry. But now you know, don't do the star. So you can tell I don't do this very often. <laughs> Okay, so Control D, or come up here to the File Manager, and you can you can move files around. Perhaps you can do it more easily. So the B drive is up here, and it has this is a RAM disk. Um, anyway, uh, so now you're gonna have C and D. I have D and E, but anyway, B is a RAM disk. Now you can uh, you can click on the Help for for the uh, Go up to the help for the file manager. So if we want to make a directory, D, make directory. So come down here, let's say D. I, I, have, I press D and I'm going to say temp. Okay, now we have a temp directory. Now you can pick up individual files and drop them into the directory. I just dropped one, I just dropped two, I just dropped three. Now if I click that, they're inside that directory that folder there we call them directories anyway uh, so that's a folder okay so uh, um, if you want I don't, I don't know if this works let's see what happens if we pick a bunch of them control control copy control C then come up here let's put them here control V okay so we just copied several um, be careful, this uh, file manager is very, is a death trap, but uh, 
you can copy and delete if you press if you hit the delete key okay we just deleted that so the ram disk is temporary obviously when you turn off the computer the ram disk disappears so that's why i'm using it to play um play around with so what else is there you can oops click on the help okay so rename file r make directory you might be able to hit the hit the right hit the right hit hit enter when you're on top and then you can do various things to it you can delete it you can include means to run it um, we'll get to that in a second so remember shift escape aborts and exits so i'm going to do shift escape okay so uh f1 and then let's go to uh down here where it says command line routines so these are all the commands you typically run at the command line there's actually no distinction between a command and between any any sort of function can be executed at the command line so in, in other words uh all the commands can be executed at the command line but these are the ones that are most commonly considered command line um, change disk uh, if you have a removable media well you can read the description here i hit f1 so um the one the obvious ones that are common are copy now you should learn about copy tree there's copy and then there's copy tree and there is um move and there is uh hey why there's delete and delete tree um so uh there's no rename believe it or not do you want to know why because um let's go i'm going to change directory and I, i'm going to go to the to the b drive root directory now i can do a directory dar um now uh there's no rename do you want to know why that's because um when you when you rename to a, a non dot if it doesn't have dot z it has to uncompress the whole file so it's it's a uh, well you can type move but you never want to type move you want to hit carriage return on top and then move let's get rid of the dot z see what happens okay so i got rid of the dot z off T ts atom tos atom now if i do a directory um look at that now it's three five up here tos atom is one e this is hexadecimal i I'm, i guess you're just gonna have to learn it if you don't if you want to convert say type if you want to convert from hexadecimal to decimal just type it at the command line like that zero x so that's 13 so that's the new size the old size was uh zero x the old side was was seven six so it, it compressed it almost in half so if it ends in dot z it's stored compressed we just moved it to a non-compressed so you can see that simply renaming actually um might involve compressing or uncompressing so if i if i move it back to a dot z it, it has to compress it therefore um we don't simply rename we have to use move because the it has to create a new copy and then delete the old copy um we can't just change the uh the uh directory name anyway so um now uh what other files f1 what other commands let's see so command line routines down here mount well this is roughly similar to unix not not really anyway um move there's edit you want to ed on top of a command lets you do edit e i'm sorry what am i saying shift exit shift edit ed quote temp whoops i like to let's see t 
so you can edit a file. I typed ed. So now we do directory. I remember I, I, I hit escape, not shift escape when I exited. So if I do some work in here, work, work. Now I hit escape. So I hit carriage return here, or well, I hit spacebar here. But to create the first version, you type edit. I can edit, I can do this again. Oh, you can go back up on top and hit and re execute a command. Shift escape. So, uh, how about that? 